All right, you guys, we're back. Neen's Bees. Uh, we are at the eight frame yard. I have my buddy James with me. Um, and we're diving into this hive. So uh, the issue that I have with this hive is I was in it yesterday. I did take a video yesterday, but it kind of got jacked up. And so I'm redoing it. Um, this hive I put in, well, let's see. Let me look at my notes. Remember my notes. I tell you guys to keep notes. Carney Nuke installed April 28th. Um, my issue is I came to check on them and I have six queen cups and I'm about to show them to you and I need to find out why and just a ton of drones also. So we're gonna go through stuff right now and I want you to see the amount of drone comb that I have on here and that's not good. Um, and another queen cup right there and that's not good. I will be tearing those down. Um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with all of these drones, or with all the drone comb. They're hatching right now as I'm filming. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a split. So I've got our nuke out here um, that we're going to make a split with uh, that you'll be able to see here. Um, so I'm going to have to do a split with these guys or they're going to swarm on me already. So this is not the frame. I don't think that has the cups on it. So pretty decent laying pattern in here. Good laying pattern. Old brood. That's probably going to be one of the frames that I steal with this split. Uh, simply because I'm going to need some brood um, to go with these cups here. I believe that this is the one that we're looking for. Nope, but more drone comb. You see the amount of drone comb on this. There's our queen. You see that? She's gotten a little bit bigger, but not much bigger. And she's fast. She hates being out of the hive. Hates it. Here's our cells. So here's one queen cell. Here's another queen cell that I just smashed, apparently. So we got one here, one here, one here, one here. And I thought that there was some on the bottom there, too. I want to make sure I didn't lose our queen because she's fast. She doesn't like being out. Does, here's another queen cup down here, another one here. I gotta find our queen first before I steal this frame. She's tiny, she look, here she is right here. And she looks just like a little, like a worker almost. I'm gonna take her. She flipped around the other side. Where'd she go? Doggone it, you little sucker. She is quick. I got into this hive yesterday is how I found this, and I watched that queen go bailing off down into the lower box. She had wanted to have nothing to do with being out. Like she jumped off the frame, I watched her. And so that's why I'm saying we just got to find her so I can get her back into the hive here quick. More of that drone comb. There's another cup right there. More drone comb. You can go ahead and pause that for a minute. Fired it. All right, we're back at it here. I lost that queen and she's a stinker. She jumped off the frame. She always does it. As soon as I find her, so here's another queen cup here. As soon as I find that queen, she hates being out and she just will bail. None on this side. And so this is just a bunch of uh, maggots and some pollen and stuff in here. So I'm going to take, I think, probably either this frame or the next one. Let me look at this one real quick. I did already take the frame that had all the cups on it. 
So no more on here. This is a pollen frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this brood frame right here. Make sure that she didn't jump on here real fast. It does have another cup on it, but that's all right. Okay. More drone comb. We don't want that in there. They've got enough pollen. They've got enough everything they need. So we're going to button this up. So I'm going to take this. I've got one frame in the nuke. This is our second frame going into the nuke for our walk away split. Okay. All queen cups on there. Now we're just doing this. Boom. We're in. So I'm going to replace with empty frames and I'm just going to checkerboard everybody so that they draw those out. I'll check again, make sure we know where mama's at. I always do, call me crazy, but I like to know where my queen is before I put her away. James spotted her the last two times. She's got to be one of the worst queens I've ever had as far as elusive. She's just so, so elusive. Hates being out in the daylight. There. You see her? Right in the middle. Okay, there she is right there again. So, going to run her over this way a little bit. There she is, center frame. Center frame is going down in. And we're done. We're gonna stack back up more frames. So I did bring just some extras in here. And all I'm doing with these guys is I'm making room for them. This did come out of this side, I believe, yeah. That's that one that has all that stinking drone, drone yeah. comb on it. Got a good amount of brood on the other side, though. Does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so maybe I'll take and bump this one this way. Bump this one right here, and we'll call it good. Give them a little smoke. So what I did here was I had found yesterday when I was in this hive... Um, I'm using a bit of smoke because it's windy and I don't have a lot of smoke in here right now anyway. So uh, what I did here was because I was in this hive yesterday and I found all these queen cups, these guys are getting ready to swarm already. Um, they are building up super fast and so I wanted to obviously number one, make some room for them and number two, whoops, I gotta make, uh, make a split for them because I can't have these bees swarming already. So I made extra room for them by putting in those extra frames, a couple extra frames for them. They have a bunch up top that they still need to draw out. And I've got a honey super here also that uh, we are putting on. So um, that was it. Uh, the next video that you see, uh, I'm bringing this nuke down to the 10 frame yard and we're going to let it do its thing down there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, it's Tim with Neen's Bees, and thanks to James for coming out with me and helping out. Um, and I will keep you posted on this guy. Uh, we should have a new queen in a, by about June 1st, I think. Thanks for watching.